That's the face of apprehension right there. Jimmy Carter, the punter for Kentucky. I need to make the point here that blocking a punt is something where everything has to go almost absolutely perfectly for the defense. Well, it's happened twice, and once more on a near-miss situation. Jimmy Carter, watch how quickly his feet in this time. Before he's milking Josh Bethel at the 45 and a half yard line. 16 yard game. And there's there's a relieved young man right there. Jimmy Carter is not going to have to go out. And this is, as, as you pointed out, this is the biggest play offensive in the court in Kentucky. Good play on the part of White. Watch the cut that he's going to make after he makes the catch. Clearly they just wanted to get a couple of yards, but White's going to break a tackle right here. Now watch the cut he makes to the outside. Good footwork up right there. Gets to the outside and gets the first down for Kentucky. Good piece of running on the part of White. The third time anybody has really good thoughts for him. Sam Madison shoved Yeast out of bounds. That was the booze that you hear. Gave him a little elbow on the back of the helmet with a smile on his, on his face saying, uh-uh, not today. Sub 4-4 four, four speed for Madison, senior from Monticello, Florida. And is uh, garnering some preseason All-American mention, deservedly so. And in this day and age of three and four wide receiver sets, quarterbacks throwing for 4,000 yards, it's not a new thing. There's a man that has a very good opportunity to get so. on ESPN. He's a father, right? You have a youngster? Newlywed and a, and a father. All in the last few months. 37-19 over Washington State. Ball, ball starts. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Don remains third. Both the two timeouts remaining. It seems like this entire half has been filled with long for Kentucky. It really does. And a lot of that credit, or all of the credit rather, has to go to the Louisville defense who just have been all over the field stifling everything that Kentucky has tried. Mark Cooper early on uh, had his problems with the special teams, but has since seemed to turn around the Turn around to the veteran of the Cardinals. Move on third and 13 again. Hope to force Carter to kick with somewhere around two minutes to go. One thing that impresses me about this Louisville team as well is that at the collegiate level, emotion is so significant. I would doubt in the course of this 12, 13, or however many games Louisville plays, that there's ever going to be a game where that team is devoid of emotion. Our problems continue. The point is high is 208 before they uh, wind it down again to 203. Another third long, 12 needed. They don't give Haskins the uh, third wideout, though. So two tight ends for protection. Yes. what's called a green dog. You have the one, you have the one linebacker that comes in and then the other one that hesitates. McLeod is actually in coverage. Watch the to the left of your screen. He's waiting to see if his line, if his back comes out, he does not. And as a result, he's able to run past him and get it. They go into the middle, watch McLeod. He's going to hesitate and he watches number 32 white who's supposed to have him in protection go the other way. That enables McLeod heads up enough to see it to shoot the gap and drop Haskins. Fourth sack by the Cardinals, the last Carter with no pressure this time. Hard his best the half. After 24 with 102 to go in the half. 43 yards, so Carter can breathe a little easier. You know, we've talked at we've talked at length about the fact that we believe that McLeod is going to be a Butkus finalist. If this first half is any indication, I would have to say that this is a guy. 
take a look at the improvements that he has had. Now, I'm one of those people who sometimes thinks that lifting, that lifting can be overrated, but you see those particular exercises, and those of you that are not lifting aficionados, the bench, of course, is the one where you lay on your back and push it up. The squat is with the legs, and the clean is the dead hand where you pull the bar to your knees and bring it up to your chest. All very impressive, but it's particularly that quarter of a ton when he pushes off his chest. Otis Roy for the injured Frank Moreau, who is out for the rest of the evening. David, a game that has been dominated by special teams and turnovers, it would appear to me that Louisville is very content just to run out this clock and take a 10-point lead in the half. Speaking of Moreau, he uh, will be the first into the locker room at the half after twisting a knee. You would have thought with an injury like that from the media that he would already have been in the treatment in the system. Interesting call. Interesting call because I'm saying to myself, okay, it appears that they're going to run this out. He does have him on the corner out and he puts it there. It would have been a great catch as you pointed out. But I find that curious only because it appeared to me that they were content to run on the clock. Now it's third down to see what they're going to do. If Kentucky can stop them here to use one of their timeouts, force them to punt and see if they can get up a Hail Mary or something in the last 15 seconds. Also an unusual call, just by virtue of calling a tight end number, they uh, combined all the little tight ends last year for four and three catches. Bango Todd hangs it up to three, and the crowd has uh, thrown away into the Kentucky bench with 17 seconds. Once again, you're at home saying to yourself, what? What are you doing? What kind of calls are these? What this shows is this shows extreme confidence on the part of that man with his defense. He flat out just does not believe that Kentucky can score on his defense, even if he shanks a punt. So he wants to take some chances with his quarterback, give him a chance to have a little confidence in a semi-pressure situation. Jeremy Borges had a much better half than his counterpart for the Wildcats. Ahead of the 27-yard line, and Wildcats, if they chose to do so, have uh, five seconds still to work with in the half. 50-yard effort by Borson. And uh, Sanford brings it back seven. Can't remember the last time I've seen a game so affected by special teams, and really special team breakdowns. Well, every, basically every point has been set up by special teams. Of course, that, I suppose that's to be expected early on, but particularly with the block punts and the two long returns in the part of Kentucky. You know, it's the old adage, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Obviously, there are going to be some adjustments made at halftime. Well, Jack Haskins takes a quick knee as the first half runs out. 5,000 red flag fans are elated and some scattered boos from 54,000 Wildcat fans.